Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what is attempting to be the best sports podcast here on YouTube. Pack the bank. We are back, baby. After taking about a week off when we're doing our uh, on again, off again episodes from week to week, um, where we're going to be providing you guys with uh, Packers and Panthers Corner to fill in. We are finally back with the main show. As always, my name is Cody. I'm here with my wonderful friends and co-host Aaron and CK in the building. Aaron, what do we got? on tap for tonight's episode man we are we, we ain't got much we'll talk a little bit we'll talk about all the trash uniforms that have been released this week from all these third back uniforms that all these teams are like hey everybody you you get a third back and you get a third back and you get a third back well they need to throw it back to where it come from because they're all garbage i'm gonna go ahead and let you know now spoiler alert second off we're gonna talk about the running back controversy get everybody's thing on that and then uh what else do we have we're gonna do a running back tier list and there's something else ah we're gonna talk about madden and the awful the awful rankings in madden the okay and the few we agree with on madden so let's jump right into it cody i know you normally have a question for us to start do you have anything today uh the only thing that i really have today and i thought that it would be kind of um it, it's kind of an on the spot question but it actually goes along with the uh the madden stuff that we were talking about in light of what we are going to talk about today who is your favorite team that's not your actual favorite team in the nfl to use in madden uh... the eagles okay I like using the Eagles. I like using the Eagles, and I like using the Chargers. I like using the Dolphins. So, I actually really like using both the 49ers, and I really like using the Cowboys. I, think those are a... I respect one of those choices. Yeah, you not disgust the other. me. You disgust me. Nobody should I don't be using want, the Cowboys. Like, not even Cowboys fans should use Cowboys. Cowboys aren't a bad team. Their defense is really good, so that's why I use them. Uh, what we have first on tap today looks like the uh, throwback uniforms, which, Aaron, you said that, like, I I don't know, dude. You said... There's you only said, one of these uniforms that I'm going to talk about tonight that I'm okay with. It's got to be the... Throw it out there now. It, it's got to be the Tampa creamsicles. Absolutely. Are, the Tampa is so ugly. That is the ugly Are you uniform. serious? That no is so way, awful. Dude. Yes. No. Yes. What is me, uh, what is awful me about personally? That? Me personally, I'm ranking that around as bad as the Bumblebee. I, I like Pittsburgh. it. I, I think it looks good. I really. I do. can't stand it. I don't like it at all. Definitely not great. Mm-mm. Is that the second one? The Colts? Looking. Is that, that a is a? That's not a throwback. That's actually a alternate called Indy Indy Knights or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Indy, like something like it's 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 disgusting. It's awful. Yeah. I don't um, like the black helmet. Uh, Tennessee's getting a throwback. Also, I don't know if they're getting a throwback. They they showed a video of them pouring black paint on their jerseys, and then they just released some kind of little snippet of the Houston Oilers. Yep. So I don't really know where this is going. It's a throwback. Yeah, yep, there's no black in the throwback though. Yeah, but if it, if they're the doing jersey. if they're doing an Oilers like snippet. The throwback would be the the Oilers uniform. Then why did they? Why did Tennessee show a video of them pouring black on the Titans oil, jersey? Oil is black. Yeah, I thought they were doing. Okay, see that's that's why then because I was thinking they were doing a black uniform. No, I think you know, it was so just like, like a, a I think like just, a hint yeah. at like the Oilers. Because okay, Oilers. well the way everybody was taking it was that it was black because everybody was like, not every team has to have a blackout uniform. I mean, no. definitely still could be black, but, you know. We'll uh, yeah, it, it could it may, be. But... It, but it makes more sense. I didn't think about it like that. I was That's why I was like, they're doing black uniforms. Why are they showing? But yeah, who's, yeah, oil's black. Yeah, so whatever. Find out yeah, tomorrow at 8. They're doing it on eight? Sunday? Sunday. AM or PM? PM? PM. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Or, well, central time, so not. Well, by the time the video's out, maybe it might have already been leaked. But yeah, it'll probably be trash, too. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm going to try to get this uh, this out to you guys. Maybe around the time that it actually is like out. That way I can put it in the video and you guys can see it anyways. We don't have to wait until like yeah. two from now to actually talk about it. The Colts one, like the helmet, if you just had the helmet it's on, on its own with a different uniform, I don't think it'd be that bad. Or the I jersey just, with a different uniform or with a different helmet. I don't think it'd be that I bad. I just but don't like the... I don't like the stripes on the shoulder pads. Those aren't, yeah. And, and then the on the on the legs. I, I think if the helmet was white or even blue, it, I yeah, think that would, that would look yeah, a little bit better. better. It look better. But I, I, I don't I don't like the shoulder pads. I'm not big that, on solid blue uniforms. Like I like a solid white uniform. I like a solid black uniform. Like I wasn't really high on the Panthers color rush. I didn't think it was the ugliest one, but I also didn't think it was the coolest looking one. Like, everybody liked Seattle's color rush. I thought it was ugly. I thought it was terrible. That neon green looked like a bunch of damn highlighters running around on the damn field. It looks stupid. I, I, I'll be, be honest. I actually, like, I'm very partial to that Seattle uniform. I thought it was good. Um, is it? Are, are these the only two throwbacks that you have? Who's, who's no, 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 no. I've got, I've got five no. uniforms tonight. Oh. Next, we have my favorite is Seattle's, actually. I think Seattle's is crisp. I think it's clean. I like the I like the helmet. It's just it's just a silver helmet with the I like the old school Seattle logo. I wish Seattle would go back to that logo and actually rock these uniforms. It's just their uniforms. I think these are so freaking clean, dude. The blue it just reminds beautiful. me of the blue goes with that that neon green, perfect in my opinion. Better than that dark blue they use. It's the it's that light blue that it pop, that green pops on that blue for me. This just looks too much like a Detroit. Detroit Lions home uniform for me. I I don't know. It looks I mean, literally I, I exactly like a Detroit saying, yeah. Lions home uniform. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't know. I might saying. be I, 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 I might be biased here, but I I personally think the Packers have the best throwback like home uniforms. But that's just me. CK, what do you think about Seattle? Seattle looks pretty good. I like it. Always like it whenever you can go back to something older. Give it a little bit more. Give a little bit of a update, and you're like, "Oh, this is sweet. Love to see it. Looks good." Vikings, honestly, I honestly thought that was a regular jersey. Did not know that was a, anything different. To be to be honest, yeah the um, the the Vikings. I'm not against it. I just the only thing I don't like about Minnesota's personally is. I'm not a fan of the stripes on the shoulder pads. If they took the shoulder pad, I don't know why all these teams are going to stripe so much, but the shoulder pad stripes from Minnesota, if you took that off, this this, this uniform will be a lot better. But the stripes look terrible. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I actually like this number, or not this number, this jersey a lot better. Um Mainly because, and actually, it's funny, uh, Kirk Cousins actually mentioned it as well, but he likes the jersey for the same reason I like it. I like the block numbers a lot better than the actual, like, Vikings numbers, because I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but the actual, like, Viking logo, or, like, the Viking, um, like, font, it's got that, like, weird, like, uh, kind of, like, swoosh on the numbers. I've never been a big fan of that. I haven't but... even noticed. Yeah, it looks kind of weird. Um I'll insert like a picture. Of oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, that's oh, that's oh, wow. Let me yeah, go look at it. it. Now, now you're it, saying that I don't want to look at it. It's, on, like, it's bad. Justin Jefferson's. Yeah. But Ooh, just just real quick, this is the uh, Packers throwback jersey that I'm talking about that I really like. It's our '50s throwback. Mm -hmm. But I I I'm a big fan of these jerseys. I think if you look at a complete like actual set of the jerseys. I or like the uniforms all together. This is a great throwback uniform. I've been a big fan of this uniform since we released it in 2021. I want to say as our throwbacks. I, I really love this uniform. It's a great uniform, but yeah. that's just I'd me. Like, but yeah, I'd like, I'd like for I'd like for Carolina to have a 95 throwback. It'd be cool. Go back to the silver pants with the blue or the black. Be Fire cool. with the old school logo too. That would be really cool. And then the last one, in which I would possibly say is the worst of all, the Cleveland Browns. That is just awful. That is you, actually, wait, you don't you don't like that, Cody? If you change this to red and gold, that's a San Francisco 49ers uniform. 
I mean, you're not like wrong, let's, but that's a, that's be, a let's fire. Just be a little, nah, let's just be a little original. You know what I'm saying? Like make your own, come up with your own thing, dude. Don't, don't just actually copy and paste and edit the colors. Actually, I don't even think it's a 49ers uniform. I think and the he'd all be close white saying it's probably a bang a Bengals uniform. Well, the all white helmet that looks dumb. I don't like the all white helmet. Really? Yeah, I'm not a fan. I wish they would change their logo too. Like the helmet is they dumb. Did. Like just go with the go with the dog. Go with the bulldog that they have. The bulldog logo would be cool. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't like the Browns. I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like some of these aren't as bad as like some people are saying, but I, I definitely see what you're saying. I, I think that they could have done maybe just a little bit more with it. I do wonder if they're going to do the bulldog uh, on the side of the helmets, though, or if they're just going to keep them plain. I would. I mean, plain's fine. I don't mind a plain helmet, in all honesty. If they do it correctly, I don't mind a plain helmet, depending on the color scheme. But I also don't mind when they do like a one-sided logo. Like this. Yeah, that's not bad. Steelers have a one-sided okay, I was gonna say logo. The Steelers don't, yeah. I think they're the only team in the NFL that does a one-sided. Yeah. Do, do the Niners do one-sided? No. I don't think so. I know the Packers don't. Mm-mm, we don't. We definitely don't. Seattle doesn't. Man. Ravens so don't. next, next that we have on the list after these uniforms. Man, let us know in the comments what you guys think about the uniforms, man. Oh, before we get to Madden stuff, um, some actual NFL news that I kind of wanted to talk about because I don't think that you mentioned that if we were going to talk about it or not, CK didn't bring it up either. Um, The Washington Commanders are looking to do another name change. Uh, Uh, I want to hear from our uh, our subs. I want to know what they think the new name is going to be like if they agree on a new name be... yeah, if they agree on one yeah me personally if I... I if i was the guy and they were like hey aaron what do you want to name them i'd do the red wolves i would do the red, red wolves, wolves exactly. and the red or like the red tails one of the i things. think i red tails would be cool too because i think red wolves or red tails you could do so much yeah mm-hmm. you could have some really cool stuff if they do it right they could call FedEx Field like the den or something like that. That'd be so sick, dude. There's so many good mm-hmm. things that you could do with their with their uh, Red Wolves. But the first thing they should do instead of changing the name is fix that stadium. So, yeah, like I poo would water. It. Yeah, I would redo it all. Well, you also don't have another Jalen Hurts incident. <laughs> that was pretty rough. Fell on him. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. It'll, it'll, it'll be in the video. 20, right. Madden 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your 99 club. Um, four of these guys deserve it. I think Aaron Donald got it because he's Aaron Donald, in all honesty. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying that he's not. Yeah, he's still Aaron Donald. But what Travis and Pat have done the last couple seasons, yes, absolutely. What Justin Jefferson did last season was record-breaking. Absolutely deserves it. Zach Martin is a 99, but he's holding out on Dallas because they're not paying him crap. Um, But Aaron Donald, I mean, he didn't have some fantastic season last year. I mean, he wasn't like, you know, he's still Aaron Donald. He's going to get the the love he deserves and everything, and he should. That dude's been a three-time defensive player of the year, and you know, but I, I really think that you could have gave that to somebody else. I don't, or just not get, gave it another one. I don't know who you would have gave it to. Um, I mean, you gave a 99 overall to a guy that had 27 tackles, five sacks, and a four fumble last year. That's it. Five sacks. I I think Rashawn Gary had better stats than that before he tore his ACL. How yeah. many games did Aaron Donald play in? Last year? Yep. I think he played all 17, yeah? I thought he got hurt. He played 11. That's the 11. Same. He didn't play a full season and still got a 99. That's that's just stupid to me. Yeah. Also, that, that Rams team, even before he got injured, was not great. I, no, no, this it is, was terrible. And this is the They're thing, right? Because dog water. And, 
and and this is this is my thing, right? Like Madden every single year, either at the, at the very beginning, it's every year either drastically overrates players or they drastically underrate players, and it it is it is very much shown uh, this year yeah. especially. Oh, I have a, I have a I'm gonna I buy Madden every year. I will. Madden's got they've got me by the. By the male mm-hmm. parts, because I'm telling you that just I, I'm gonna buy them every year because I want to play with my boys. I wanna... But no, Madden has me by my heartstrings, dude. I'll buy Madden every single season, every single year. I do not care because I'm I want to play with Bryce Young this year. You know, I I mean, I just they, this it's how it is, man. They're gonna get me every single year, and I'm gonna spend seventy bucks, and I'm gonna complain because the game's too high, and I'm gonna complain because the game is the same, and then. Nothing's changed and all that, but some things have changed this year, so I'm kind of excited for it. But they did the Carolina Panthers dirty this year a lot of ways. The offensive line is a main thing for me. They did the offensive line awful. Like, bad. It's it's bad. They did the Packers so dirty, too. We will start. They did a lot of people dirty. We will start here. Um, here we go. I don't have an issue with the top 10 quarterback ranking. I would put Hurts over Lamar. Um, I'd put Hurts over most of them. Why is Kirk Cousins the number nine ranked quarterback? Kirk Cousins had a good year last year. I mean, yeah, Kirk definitely. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you know who had a better year than Kirk Cousins last year? Jared Goff, Geno Smith. Trevor Lawrence. We have stats to back Tua. this up, or are we just saying this? No, we've got stats to back it up. Let's 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 look at the stats real quick. All right, let's let's all right. uh let me let me go. I'm, here. I'm looking up Kirk. I'm looking up Kirk. Okay, you're looking up Kirk. Let's look up. I'll I'll first start off with Geno Smith's stats from last year. All right, let's, okay. let's, you, you pull let's, up. So the 2022. Now. All right. All right. So all right. 2022 stats for Geno, right? Mm-hmm. He had played 17 games, okay. right? Had 30 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Oh, with right. 4,282 yards. Mm-hmm. Had okay. a 69.8 completion percentage. Right. What what did what is Kirk looking like? Kirk in 17 games went 13 and 4. Had a 65.9 percent completion percentage had 4,547 yards 29 touchdowns 14 interceptions and that that's exactly my point okay Gino Smith is better in every single category already Jared Goff so, let's look so, at Jared Goff so, so why 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 but we're also oh, having that's a lot some... you just cat you just cap not <laughs> every single st- like not in every single category Every okay, not every single category, but every single the thing only you thing, just named. The only thing, no he, yards, legit yards. He has less yards by three hundred yards. Okay, but what's the completion percentage? What's the touchdowns? What's the interceptions? Okay, he has one less touchdown. He has three more interceptions. Kirk does. Kirk that's, has one less touchdown, three not, more interceptions. I mean, that's not. And Gino's and got then... sixty-nine point eight percent completion. Okay, and Kirk has... Kirk's got 65. 65.9, yes. Okay, so CK, uh, yard-wise, Tua had 3,548. That's less than Kirk, right? Yep. yep. He had 25 yeah, less touchdowns, less yep. than Kirk, right? Yep. He, he he did have eight interceptions, so he did have less interceptions than Kirk. But he didn't he play also all. He died team. on the field. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to look Fact. at Jared Goff. All right, Jared Goff had 65.1% completion. Yep. He had 4,438 yards mm-hmm. with 29 touchdowns that- and seven INTs. Yeah. So he had the same amount of touchdowns. How many more yards did he have than he? He, uh, he has uh, 100 less. He has a, uh, Jared Goff has 100 less. Around. Okay. 100 less. And then he has how many interceptions, Curry? He has uh, seven. And then and then Kirk Cousins has fourteen. So all he did was just throw less interceptions. He had a better completion percentage, I believe. So the completion percentage is what we're basing this off of. No, we're basing Kirk this Cousins off of the had fact a that completion percentage. 
Okay. We also well, have to base the fact on that the Vikings went thirteen and four. Yeah, thirteen and four. Yeah, well, that's that's fine. But look, I it's just weird to me that Kirk is the ninth ranked quarterback. Yeah. And Geno Smith is number twelve behind yeah. Trevor Lawrence uh-huh. and Tua. And I just feel like Geno should be ahead of Kirk. I feel like Geno did more for the Seahawks than Kirk did for the Vikings last year. Okay. uh, um, CK, Mm. read me Kirk Cousins' completion percentage. It was 65.9. Okay. I'm I'm not going to tell you the QB until I get done with this, okay? I'm ready. 64.6 completion percentage. Is that less than Kirk Cousins? Yes. 3,695 yards. Is that more or less than Kirk Cousins? That would be less. 26 touchdowns, more or less. Less. 12 interceptions. He has... He's, he's reading Kirk Aaron Cousins has more. Because he's going to try and make a point out of it. I, I know... Yeah, my I know point is that Kirk Cousins should be above Aaron Rodgers, then. Because he's better statistically in every category except interceptions. What was it, What was Kirk's QBR last year? Uh, That's a good question. 49.9. Rodgers was 39.3. Yeah, Rodgers had a How bad times, year. How many times did he get sacked? Then Kirk had a good year. Yeah, but he didn't it's have also, a better year than Geno Smith. Also a good point. Kirk Cousins got sacked 46 times last season. Jared Goff got sacked 23. And Geno Smith... I don't know how you see how many times he got sacked. Oh. Geno Smith got sacked, got sacked 46 30, as well. 32 times last year. So Gino and God Kirk and Gino got murdered last year. Forty six. God. They also dang. didn't have great O lines. Yeah. They also weren't dealing with a whole cast of just rookie receivers. But that's that's just Aaron Rodgers. <clears throat> well, apparently that rookie receiver is going to be top ten by the end of this year. I mean, if we're really talking about, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Justin Fields. You guarantee Christian Watson is going to be top ten by the end of this year. Yes. That's wild. That's, it's not that's wild. Insane. That is an insane stat. I mean, the most I, insane I, here thing is Justin Fields being number 20. That, that's <laughs> that too, but... Justin Fields being 20 is pretty wild. Ryan Tannehill being 19 is f***ing wild. Jimmy G being 17 is wild. Uh, I think Jimmy. Jimmy G was injured last year. Like, yeah. all last year. Kyler, no, yeah. Kyler Murray being f***ing 14 is wild. Let me tell you something. Okay, but at least those guys, like, there's a... Like, okay, just yeah. about 13 up. Like, 13 up, I'm all right with. How, what if I told you... I'm checking something here. Before, uh, just for the Jimmy Garoppolo thing. Do you have 21 I, through, like, 32 as well? It was oh, I'm looking up Justin Fields in about two seconds. I swear to God, if I figure this out. Do you know okay, that Jordan Love is the 36th ranked quarterback? <laughs> in what? In Madden? Yeah. That's terrible. He's, 30, he's 36. Why? Is that what you said? He's a 70 overall. Hey, Bryce Young, my guy. 74. Yeah, I would say, I think Whatever. Bryce Young's a 74. That's he's disrespectful. 74. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy, actually. Okay. Now, if you want to compare one Mr. Jimmy G, who played 10 games, to who, who's up there? Let me see. Who's up there? Fields. Fields? Okay. So I Fields know for a 15. fact Justin Fields was better than. Jimmy G last year, uh, obviously Deshaun Watson. Uh, I I he- I heavily disagree with that. Heavily, there Jimmy G in ten games played better than Justin Fields. Hundred percent. That was about what you just said. You saying that Watson going to be top ten? That you guarantee that is about as outlandish as that reporter to come out and said Justin Fields is the best rushing QB in NFL right now. Fact. So I'm... in less games. Who's Jimmy the best G. rushing QB in the game, then? Lamar Jackson. What? Lamar Jackson. Maybe 2019 Lamar Jackson. What? La- no. oh, oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Show me the that stats. Is... Oh. Show you the stats. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Hold on. Before we go to this, before we go to this, with Jimmy G. <laughs> with Jimmy G and Justin Fields, where you said that you said G- you said Justin Fields played better than Jimmy G. Jimmy G played in 11 games. He started 10 of them. He had 2,437 uh, yards. He threw for 16 touchdowns and four interceptions. And he had a 67.2 completion percentage. Okay. Justin Fields 
in 15 games, starting all 15, had a 60.4 completion percentage. So, worse. He had 2,242 yards, which is only, was that five? No, it's not. No, that's almost 200 yards less. He had okay. 17 okay, touchdowns. Okay, I'm going to stop you guys right here. Mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop you guys real quick. And they had seven uh, more interceptions. Just, Justin Fields had 1,143 rushing yards last year. Lamar Jackson had 764 with three rushing touchdowns. Mm -hmm. on, a, on, 100, had... on 112 rushing attempts. Mm -hmm. We're just talking about rushing. I don't give a fuck about Justin passes. Fields at 160. Yeah, and he still got 1,100 yards. Who is Justin Fields throwing the ball to? Uh, of course he has to. He's running for his life. What did you go? Like Clay, Chase Claypool? Dude, you're the he's, one that you're. You guys finally, are the one, one that that we're trying to make a point that Justin Fields is not the best rushing quarterback in the NFL right now, and it's wrong. Yeah, he's you're not. Wrong. He's not the best he's rushing not, quarterback in the league. He is. He's he ha he he's literally has, me. Hold on. Okay. has the so stats to prove me. it. Okay, he so has the stats me. to prove okay. it. Okay, so you're telling me after one 1,000 yards rushing season, he's better than the two 1,000 yards that Lamar's already had, plus the two 700 yards? You're crazy. Lamar's already got 4,400 yards rushing. I'm not crazy. He was the best last season. No, if he was the no best one, last no season, that means that no currently he is the best. Fans. Nah. I'm not just there. I, what? I hate, I hate the Bears. He's not the best. But I can, I can I can I can talk regular football. Okay, so then so then based off of what you just said about how just because of last season he had the better season, then Jalen Hurts should be the third best QB on this list. I mean, I I, I think that's, that's, I think Jalen Hurts probably how that second. Works. I yeah. think well, I I, I do how, think Jalen Hurts should be second. You just said. That's what you just said. You just said based off last season. Uh, he's the best running. He's the best rushing QB in the NFL. Okay. Well, based off last season, Jalen Hurts was arguably the best QB in the NFL. That's Jalen Hurts should be second. That, that means Jalen That's Hurts should never be second. Means because QB goes goes into more than just rushing. You have to throw the ball too. That's literally what a quarterback does. Okay. That doesn't make any. That rushing? doesn't make that if your argument, if anything, is just saying that he's the best running back. Essentially, if if we're just going off rushing, that that is what you are saying, and that that is not true. Okay, so check this out, then. It's a bad argument. Check chat what by the way. The it's a bad argument. Jalen Hurts is definitely should okay. Be okay, well, if you're gonna go based off of passing, then then Lamar Jackson and Justin Fields were were just about the same QB because they both actually threw for two thousand two hundred forty two yards. They both threw for seventeen touchdowns. Just. Uh, Justin threw for 11 interceptions when Lamar threw for seven. Correct. Jimmy G, my goat. Lamar, Lamar's a better quarterback all around than Justin Fields, but last year he was not a better rushing quarterback. This is a fact. <sighs> that is wild. Yeah, it's not wild. It's, it's, it's I, still think, I still think it's wild. I still it's think it's stats. wild. That's, I still think that's it's, wild. It's stats. Mm. Whatever. All right. You got any more Madden ratings? Oh God! Let's 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 let's. And get Russell Wilson's list. too high on this list. Russell Wilson's Probably, too yeah. high. All right, next this trash this trash cornerback list. Jesus Christ! I, I think I think one through five is is good. I don't mind one through five. I don't mind one through five at all. What I don't like I is that in in in. Mm. I mean, I think I think Here one and two should probably switch, but. I don't know. Uh, I don't think number one. Should, number one should be probably number three. In all honesty, like Pastor Tan is arguably the best, the best corner in the NF in the NFL. I I would argue the only argument between two and three should be Jair and Sauce, and I would put Jair just above Sauce right now. But I think Sauce has the potential to jump and become the best. Sauce is the Sauce is going to be a ninety nine. Sauce this is going to be a dog. I'm going to tell you. What I don't like is there's twenty people on this list, and I don't see. Uh, uh, yeah, JC but... Horn. It's 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 not. Nah, it's ridiculous. I I don't care. It's you definitely... want to talk stats? I've got the stats to back that up. I know he ain't been healthy, but when he is healthy, he's a lockdown, shut down. Nobody's getting over eighty yards on him. But what was his stats last year? Yeah, that's that was the stats. The, that no one's gotten over eighty yards. 
He's locked down everybody he's faced. So, I mean, that's it. The only the only pushback that everybody has on J.C. Horn is, well, he's injured. Okay, but when he's not injured, that's the thing. When he's not injured, and I know that's a big thing because an injury thing is is huge. I get that. I'm not I'm not arguing that. But he actually played a lot last year versus what he didn't play. Like his rookie season, he only played like three games. Last season, he played like twelve. Like the... You want you want my honest opinion? Because I feel like you got was... mad at me the other day. You you want my honest opinion? Here what you were saying was outlandish. I'm not big either. No, it wasn't. But it was. I, I I'll give you my whatever. I'll give you my honest opinion. Stefan Gilmore should not be even in the top ten, and J.C. Horn should take his spot at number seven. I I don't know because Stefan really did have a pretty decent season. It wasn't awful. It, I, I don't know. What, I don't know what Stefan's thing is. Stefan's pretty high to be the age he is. I miss Stefan Gilmore, dude. Stefan Gilmore has been one of my favorite cornerbacks in the NFL, like since he was in Buffalo. But, I just think that I can see J JC Horn is a hundred percent better than Stefan Gilmore and everybody. JC from... Horn, Horn should be at like eleven and just move everybody else down. In my in my opinion. And I'm a He's better than he's better than Denzel but, Ward. But but no, I'm sorry, the fact that you're telling me that he's not better than Kenny Moore, Jamal Dean, Jamel Dean, whatever, and James Bradbury's too low also. That's disrespectful to James Bradbury. Patrick That'd Peterson, really forty-year-old Patrick Peterson. Have you lost your mind? Tyson Campbell, that bug guy looked like dude looks like a daggum praying mantis. Bro, have you seen okay. that? All right, all right, <laughs> all right. Okay. I'll be honest. All right, I'm, I'm me, surprised that if somebody tell me how you say number fifteen's name. Chadobi Oswozi. Like, what is okay. that? That's not even a real person. Okay. They just put people in that All right. Now. That's an right. AI right. generated player. Oh, Ch Chadobi Awozi. <laughs> He's, that's he's not actually, right. He's either. actually it, it's that's pretty close. It's Chidobi uh, Awuzie. Chavarius Ward. That sounds like a Pokemon's name, Chavarius. Okay, but that like I like gotta catch him all. I guess whatever. That's it's just good. stupid. I don't care. Chavarius Ward is pretty good. And Kendall um, Fuller. That sounds like one of the people that uh, Kendall Kardashians, but Kendall Jenner's been with. These, sounds like these one are of her very. Top fives. These, these are F tier jokes. These are, these are not. I mean, this jokes. this is um, this is on my nerves. No, J C Horn should definitely. I, I am surprised that Rasul. I am I am surprised that Rasul Douglas didn't get the top twenty as well. I I feel like he had actually a really good year last year, beside of Jay year, but it is what it is. Um, we have any more Madden rankings? Yeah, last Tight one ends. we got tight ends. Which here we there's go. No, there's no real argument other than I'd say that. I'd probably put Evan Ingram a little bit higher. Yeah, I feel like Evan should be probably where I, Pat is. I put yeah, yeah. I agree. I'm Switch, surprised Switch, Njoku Patton. made top ten. I feel like that's kind of all they really had, so they just had to put in there. I just feel like I haven't heard very much of out of Njoku in so Cause, long. It's because they their freaking teams run first all the time. Hey, yeah, Hurst will be on this list next year. I mean, he's top ten in catching. Woo! I would like I would like to see uh I'd like to see Tucker Craft or You know who is gonna be on the top ten next year and all overall tight ends is probably gonna be Dag um um uh yeah CK what's his name? Old uh, Dominion. Zach Koontz. Yep. Zach Koontz from the Jets will probably be on there, which is gonna make me mad. I wouldn't be surprised if uh yeah, and Darnell Washington, Washington will be on here too, probably. Darnell Washington's gonna, yeah. that's gonna haunt me every day for the rest of my life. F you, Panthers. F you. We hate you. F you guys, man. God, it. Okay. You guys suck. Right, and, okay. uh, right. oh, here we go. Now, let's let's have a discussion real quick. Let's let's just let's have here a talk. Ride. Let's ride. Matt Miller said, been saying it for years. Number one, draft a running back. Number two, play the running back if he's good. I agree. Number three, you franchise tag the running back once. And then you draft another running back. So pretty mm -hmm. much what he's saying is draft a running back, not in the first round, maybe in the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, whatever. And then you run the dog piss out of him. And then when he's like, "Oh, I'm hurting," you go, "See you later." Keep it moving. It's just a, it's, it needs to be a it needs to be a carousel. When they say the 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 carousel of sports um, mm -hmm. positions, the running back is the biggest carousel there is. And I know that people's mad about it, and running back should be mad. Because if you look at it, like CK is going to tell you here in a minute, uh -huh. 
Both sides are right. Now, CK, this is all you. Okay. Yeah, pretty much like Aaron said, both sides, this is one of those arguments where both sides can be right. Obviously, if you're a running back, you should be pissed that you basically don't get paid as well as you probably should be getting paid for what you've done for a team. For example, like, uh, well, Dalvin, Dalvin Cook kind of, at least Dalvin Cook got paid once and then kind of got cut off at Barkley. the end. Let's go, let's go with Barkley. Barkley's, Barkley's the best example. Barkley is the Giants offense. That is, he is him, right? They paid Daniel Jones, a quarterback who played midly, is the safe way to say that. The guy that had they, one they good him. season versus the, the yep. running back that they drafted that is pretty much the face of that franchise. Yep. They paid the running back, the quarterback that had one yep. good season. Four years, like 160, I think is what it was. Yeah. So you when paid a quarterback. Split that's, that and just paid and just yep. paid, paid Saquon Barkley. So that's yep. why that's that's where you can be right, right? But then you have to look at it from the NFL side or the general managers. This is a business, not a charity case. If they see what we've seen the last couple of years, or if you look at any of the last like 10 Super Bowls, if you go back and look at the salaries of the running backs that were in that Super Bowl, they're all extremely cheap. Just last year, Isaiah Pacheco, I think that's how you say his last name, yeah. was a seventh round pick. And he played better than the first round pick on the Chiefs roster. He played better. Then the now Panthers running back, Miles Sanders did. Now, Miles Sanders didn't get a lot of run in the Super Bowl. But either way, he played better than every single person on that field as a, that was a running back. That entire – and he's drafting the seventh round. So if you're an NFL team, you sit there and you go, huh, well, I can either pay this running back $10 million or I can draft a dude in the seventh round, get the exact same production, and then be able to pay an offensive lineman or a wide receiver, or something else where there isn't as much talent to go around. So, overall, kind of just like Aaron said, both sides are right. And the only way you're going to be able to fix it is if, I guess, you're probably just going to have to structure running back wages on rookie deals entirely separately from everyone else. Because that's the thing, like Aaron said, you just run them into the dirt the first four years and then say, good luck, bud. You, you, and, and I'll give you two examples. Yeah. The first example is to piggyback off what you just said. You draft somebody, run them in the dirt. Mm -hmm. Atlanta fans, get ready because the next four years you're going to love it. God, your running game is going to be freaking phenomenal. I, I, it probably will be. You're going to run all over Carolina. You're going to run all over Tampa. You're going to run all over New Orleans. And I hope you run all over New Orleans twice on Sunday. But after them four years are up, if y'all pay him, I, I don't see you paying him, to be honest with you. I just don't. Uh, you just, it, it's running him in the dirt after he's been beat up for four or five years. You, you just kick him to the curb and keep going. Because what's going to happen is your four years are going to be up. You're going to pick him up for a fifth-year option, and when you realize that he's declined a little bit, you're going you're gonna to move on after year six. Mm -hmm. And to piggyback and to, to go off of that, what is really killing running back, the running back market right now, in all honesty, is people like Isaiah Pacheco. Yep. Seventh round pick. Don't even think he's making a million dollars a year. And dude's like just killing it. Went went weren't uh went to the Super Bowl, won that. I mean what I'm saying is like it, it shows that you don't have to be a B. John Robinson and a first no a first round number eight pick to you know, to be the to be a Super Bowl winning team. Because if you honestly look at it, most of these top tier running backs, McCaffrey, uh, Derrick Henry, Nick Chubb, Aaron Jones, Dalvin Cook, they're not on these, other than Christian McCaffrey, they're not on these Super Bowl contending teams. They're on playoff contending teams, but none of them other than Christian is on Super Bowl. And in all honesty, they're not like, hell. San Francisco can't get out can't get out of San Francisco's own way or out of bad luck's way to really get to the Super Bowl. Yeah, they're so they're, their luck's terrible. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 what's and I'm not you know I'm not, I wasn't a shot at Green Bay. I'm just saying I'm, I'm bringing it up because it's true. Like they're not. You I'm know not, what I'm saying? I'm not they're, sad. They're, to, they're I'm top not tier. Sad, okay. They're top tier. No, no, it's no. Trust me, we get it because we had the Yeah, we get it. So we, we understand. Trust me. But 
but I'm but I'm right. It's like, hey, you know, you've got the best running back in the league, but your team's only winning four or five games. What's the matter? I'd rather have Isaiah Pacheco, a middle to lower grade running back, which I don't think he is, but still going into the season, he was probably not even ranked top thirty two in the NFL. Hmm. Wasn't and even the starter. Wasn't even the starter. Clyde was the starter, the guy they drafted in the first round, and where's he at now? Yep. He's sitting on bench because of a seventh round backup they drafted. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to, and that's where it this is where it kills the running backs. The running back market is because they are it shows that they are replaced. It's not like people are just saying, yeah, they're just replaceable. No, it, there's proven fact you are replaceable. Everybody's replaceable. We lost Christian McCaffrey halfway through last season, yep. and our running game got better. Yep. What? That's a fact. That is a fact. It, it happened. I, I, I don't. I don't. That's that's what I'm saying. That's all. That's that's my only argument. There is is you don't have to have a Derrick Henry to win the Super Bowl. You can have a Pacheco. You can have a Legarrette Blunt. You can have a. I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah. Broncos 2015. You can have a C.J. Anderson. You, you don't have to have anybody create. You don't have to have a top five running back to win a Super Bowl. You can have a Jay Ajayi. There yep. you go. You can mm-hmm. have a Jay Ajayi. Yep. Just have a stable. Have a stable. Mike oh, Shanahan I, I, started it. I don't, need it you to have, I don't need a running back to have a thousand yards every year. I don't. I need well, an eight. I need a set. I need a 650 to 850 running back. That's all I need. Well, and the, the problem is if you really look at it, and I'll give you a perfect example because we just got done talking about it earlier in the show the only real running that's coming out of teams nowadays just because of the way that they're like doing offenses is going to be from your quarterback perfect example of this they were they were the worst team in the league last year however justin fields had the most rushing yards on his team now david montgomery still had around 600 700 yards but that was effective for them that is what the NFL is moving towards because they don't need to pay David Montgomery that money to to rush or run football, but they can pay uh, they can pay Justin Fields that money because he's a quarterback. The running back position is becoming what the fullback position is now. It's becoming obsolete pretty soon. They they're going to have people like uh, like tight ends that play fullback. They're they're going to have them in in a fullback set. I mean it it the. The way that football is progressing, it's that they're phasing out positions. They did it with uh, what was originally like the tailback. It became the fullback, then became the running back. Now they're going to make it into a tight end. Maybe a tight end is going to go out on a on a jet sweep or something up the middle. Maybe he's going to play ISO. The, the running back market is dwindling because the running back position is not valued anymore. Right. I mean, I still think it's valued. I think it's just, yeah. I think it's just the, it's the product of twin. It's the product of fifty plus years of every single athletic kid in youth football playing running back. So you have the best athletes their entire life playing running back, and then yep. they, I mean, name how many college teams can you sit there and go, oh, your running back is legit trash. There's not that many, and mm-hmm. then you have a bunch of those going to the NFL. And again, just look at the Browns. Okay, that one game where they lost Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. They had an undrafted dude who no one ever heard out of, heard of. Came in, ran 175 yards, had two touchdowns. You know how many you know how many NFL running backs are in the league right now? I may be wrong on this. It's a lot. But I think it's like 132. Yeah. It, it, I think there's actually, 132 running backs and that's ridiculous. And you know why? It's because of what CK just said. You grow up from Pee Wee all the way to the NFL playing running back, and you get to the league, and you're not good enough to be a starter, so what do you do? You either transition into a, a DB, you transition into a wide receiver, or you play special teams your entire career. Yeah, and at, it's actually funny that uh, CK just mentioned like the, the Brown situation because the Packers a couple years ago, I don't know, I don't know if, uh, if Packers fans will remember this, but it was a couple of years ago. It was probably about 2016, maybe 2017. Uh, we did not have Eddie Lacy. We didn't have James Starks. But James Crockett came in. He was an undrafted free agent off the street. 
came in and had like 132 yards for like one or two touchdowns just had a had an insane game like out of nowhere nobody had heard of him before and he i think it was i i think it was against the patriots i want to say it was against the patriots but we we just ran all over them yeah, and it's more so about the offensive line it was, than actually having a good running back yeah but it's like this like this guy had never been heard of and and he's coming in here and just making plays like left and right yep. and and shortly after that he was he was out of the nfl like it yep. like he never like he never existed it was insane mm-hmm. right you want to talk about running backs that came and gone peyton hillis yep another madden example. uh madden, madden 12 12, 12 cover. cover dude got the cover of madden had one good season and then like never did anything ever again with his life dipped out in the NFL wise, he did just save some kids from drowning, so good for him. But um, yeah, but oh, you saying, guys, you like, guys really want to see? You guys really want to see where uh, where old NFL running backs like that were actually good? Go, go, uh, go! Watch a season of the USFL or the CFL or the XFL. Or the XFL you'll you'll, or you'll see them. like that. Yeah, and it's it sucks. Yeah. You know, it really does. But that's just. Like even James Robinson for the Jags that one year, he balled out. Oh, James Robinson and was they, crazy. Yep, balled out, and then he went to the Jets, and now he's on. Where did he get signed? Did he sign to the Patriots? Yeah, I think he signed to the Patriots today, or, or yesterday, something like that. Yeah. It's like, yep, already got moved on from. So, you know. So with that being said... Not your hair said I agree with all my running back brothers around the NFL history will show that you need no you need running backs to win cap. Um, we set the tone every game and run through walls for our team and lead in many ways. This notion that we deserve less is a joke. I mean, t- the only thing I'd say that where you said cap, you do need running backs. You just don't need a running back. Oh ah, yeah, hundred percent. I need just meant like I meant like for him, it's like. He's saying like, well, you need you need Najee Harris to win. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, you just need. I need I need Isaiah Pacheco, Ramondre Stevenson, and 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 Kenneth Walker to win a football game. I don't need. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't need just a Christian McCaffrey because I've had just Christian McCaffrey on my team before, yeah, and it, we, just we, Christian McCaffrey didn't win me football six, games. Six wins. That's my argument against him. Um, hey, oh, yeah, he had a one K. Hey, hey, CMC had a one K one K season. Yep, and we, we only had six wins that season, so wins. hey, yep. you know, hey, I guess. Yep. Uh, I, I'll he say this said, too. Oh yeah. You, 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 you to look win. at you look at right. running backs, and then you look at wide receivers. What's the big difference? After the age of thirty, wide receivers are still valuable. Some of yep. them, yes. Yeah, so, the good ones. Some the good ones. Normally, after the age of like I'd say twenty six of a running back, they slowly start to decline. And that's that's my point exactly because you can't take those big hits up the middle anymore. As a wide receiver, if you're still fast, and I'll give you a perfect example, his name's Randall Cobb. If you're 32 years yeah. old and can still get separation and are still somewhat speedy as a wideout, Devontae's a really good example too. Um, you will be valuable. Randall Cobb Larry Fitzgerald. Had Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah, Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, but but you look at Randall Cobb, right? Was on the Packers until he was about twenty nine, right? Went to the went to the Cowboys, was valuable there at thirty. Came back to the Packers, 31, 32 years old. Now he's on the Jets, and he's still going to be a starting caliber wide receiver because he can still get separation because he's still fast. If Randall well, Cobb was a running back, he would still be on the market right now, and I guarantee. Well, another, it. Uh, another big thing that I, I agree with you there on is that you said something about like running up the middle, taking those hits. The the only person that gets hit more than a line than a running back is an offensive lineman. Exactly. So yes, when you run up the gut at, you know, it's different as an offensive lineman. You're already three hundred fifty plus when you're, you know, so you're you, you kind of have more of, you have more of an impact to, you know, to you can take to, more punishment. to withstand that. You yeah, you can take more punishment and your when body is used to it. Yeah, when you're Christian McCaffrey, where your body is also used to it, yeah, I agree there too. 
Um, but your body is also used to it, but you're 190 pounds. Or, well, I guess Christian would probably be like 240, whatever. Yeah, he, I don't know what he is. He's... He's not, he's not the very big, he's not 350 plus, but when you got 350 plus men, to, you know, beating you down every other play, because you run up the gut, that's, that's a lot of wear and tear on your body. So yes, by the age of 26, yeah. 27, you're starting to decline because you, you can't run the way you can. And I'm not saying that running backs aren't important because they are, they have a lot of job. They, they, you got to learn to pass protect, you got to know. You know, you gotta know your routes. You gotta know which lane to run. You gotta know which way to cut and dash and 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 spin and stiff arm and all. And I get that, okay. But so does everybody else has multiple jobs on that field. Also, let's not sit here and make this just about just about yourselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you don't do all the work. That's why I say the hardest position in the NFL is a quarterback. That's a quarterback. by far. I'd say oh, it's a quarterback. I, I, I agree. No, I, I definitely think it's corner. 100%. Why? I think as a quarterback, it's harder because you have to know, you have to know the play calls. You have okay. to know exactly what everybody on the field is doing. You have mm -hmm. to know exactly who to throw to, and if that guy's shut, you have to be able to in 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 two point three seconds. You have to be able to scan the field, while possibly having to run out of the pocket. Um, you you got to know where you got to you got to be you got you got to be able to call an audible when needed. You got to be able to read a defense. Mm -hmm. Stuff you gotta. That's that. That's why I think personally, being a quarterback would be harder than being a DB. But I do have a DB at close second. Though I'm not hating on the DBs at all. I'm definitely saying DBs harder. But but I, I'm taking yeah. QB. Because the only thing I'd say though is with quarterbacks, with the audibles and stuff, and reading the defense, that is big. But you aren't getting like in the moment, whenever you're calling an audible or whenever you're doing anything, you aren't getting pressured. At that exact moment, by another man, you are there is pressure to it, right? There is pressure, but you can sit there, and if your brain's quick enough, if you're an NFL quarterback, your brain is extremely powerful. You can do all that in a couple of seconds. If you're a corner, you not only have to read the quarterback's eyes when you're 35, when you're 30 yards down the field, or 20 or 15 yards down the field, whatever you want to say, you have to make sure a guy who can run a 4-3 or a 4-2, and a 6-4 doesn't run behind you, stop, and pull you away, or jumps over you, or does whatever, and you get a flag. You have to react. If you're, if you okay, off offense quarterback, you are causing people to react. You aren't reacting to other people. You can, Sometimes you are, but most of the time, people are reacting to what you do. If you're a corner, you don't get to choose what happens. You are reacting to what other people do in, in, in that exact same 0.2 seconds that you said for a quarterback. You don't have a choice. You don't have a decision. You don't know what that good dude's going to do that can run a 4-3 or Tyree Kill. If you're guarding Tyree Kill, just think about that. If you're guarding Tyree Kill, what are you going to do? Because in 0.2 seconds, if you make the wrong decision, he's 10 yards past you. Gone. <laughs> Done. And if you're the QB that has to throw to Tyree Kill and then in yep. a couple of seconds, but you're being chased down by Nick Bosa, Miles Garrett, or someone like that, and yep. you make a uh, you, you you make a all throw, yep. an off the ball, you know, an off foot throw. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so, so there's, there's 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 yeah, but I mean, if Tyree Kill's down the field wide open, but you're running away, yep. And you you, you know that if you hit Tyree, you win. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, so I, I'll, I'll say this. I will agree to disagree because okay. I agree with you that offensive-wise, it's QB. Defensive-wise, it's it's corner for sure, 100% every day of the week. But I do think that – I think they're neck and neck is what I'm pretty much – like I said earlier, I think I really think they are. I really think that they're the two hardest positions in the NFL. However you want, however you want to do it, one, two, corner, whatever, I'm not going to say you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I'll, yeah, I'll just agree yeah. disagree. And Cody said a dark horse. What do you got? So I I've got a I've got a reason for my dark horse, and it's actually funny because you guys both brought kind of like validity to what I'm about to say to my point. So I'll explain it in just a second. Um, it is the center position. The reason why I say that is because. If you really think about it in the grand scheme, in the grand scheme of things, 
defenses, just like the quarterback does, adjust to a play, which means the center has to pick that up at the line of scrimmage, which means he oftentimes yards and tackles what to do. More, more oftentimes than not, and sometimes the quarterback. The center also doesn't have control of what's really going on. He is a reactionary player. Yep. Now, he also has to know what the play is, what who's running what route, what is the quarterback doing. If he checks, what's the check? What's it on? Is, is there a snap count? If, it is, if there is a snap count, what's, it, what's the snap on? You know, he's got to know, okay, if, if I'm in, if we're in shotgun, right, how, how am I going to get this ball to the quarterback? Are we sure that nobody's in motion? I mean, the, I, I personally believe that the center has one of the hardest jobs in football, if not the hardest job, because he has to know. I will agree that he does have one of the hardest jobs. Absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll say it like this. I think maybe the quarterback and corner are probably tied for first with the center a very, very close second. I think another dark horse position that could be arguable is top five hard could be a kicker position and punter. Kicker's pretty hard. I think safety is right punting, behind it. I think punting I think would be safe. hard. I think safety's safety's Safety would be hard, too, hard. But I, I think punting would be very hard, too, because you have to know – you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're like, you've got to trap them back by behind a 10. Yeah. Having to mathematically knowing, plus you got to calculate the wind in with it. That's That's got to be rough. Yeah. Every NFL position's hard. Let's just, let's just be honest, but they all have their levels to them. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's, um, CMC let's said, on. CMC said this is criminal three of the best players in the entire league. Who he is talking about is Josh Jacobs, Tony Pollard, and um, Saquon Barkley. I, mean, I, I don't really know if I would have. Jonathan Taylor said, one, if you're if you're good enough, they'll find you. Two, if you work hard enough, you'll succeed. If you succeed, you boost the organization. And then, doesn't matter. You're a running back. And he said that to the Matt Miller tweet. Yeah. Oh, that was a quick tweet. And then Austin Eckler, who said this, this is the kind of trash that has artificially developed devalued one of the most important positions in the game. Everyone knows it's tough to win without a top running back, yet they act like we are a dischargeable widgets. I support a running back, any running back doing whatever it takes to get his bag. That comes from somebody that went on the free agent market because he didn't want it and then said, my market wasn't what I thought it was, and I'm coming back to the Chargers. It also uh, wasn't too hard for the Chiefs to win a Super Bowl with not a top running back. I know, I know we've made the point, but it's like, are, are you sure? He's, he's like, contradicting himself. That's the, that's the funny part. That's why I said Pacheco is the biggest, like, are you sure about that to all these people? Because the whole, yeah. you don't need a, t- you don't, it, it's tough to win without a top running back cap. That's a hundred percent lie. By, by the way, let's just look at it this way. Before uh, he was known as Beast Mode and had the Beast Quake against uh, the Saints, nobody knew who Marshawn Lynch was. Okay, but Marshawn Lynch still wasn't a first-round talent, though. It, okay, but... That's, no, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm agreeing with you. That's what I'm saying. Oh, like, okay, he didn't okay, have okay. to be... He, he wasn't a top-tier running back. Like, he that's wasn't a top... Okay. You know, he was when he got to Seattle, yeah, of course. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, before then, he wasn't... You know, I, I couldn't tell you. What was I mean, he, he was he a first round up. pick, though. Was he? He was a 12th overall pick in the first round. Yeah, by, by 2000, 2007. Uh, okay, I didn't think he went in the first. Yep, he was the second running back taken. But they didn't even use him but, in okay, Buffalo that's like that, so nobody, Marshawn, so nobody knew who he was. was the last first round pick to win, running back to, to win a Super Bowl. That's what it was. Yeah, they definitely did use him in Buffalo, by the way. Yeah. His first two years. But he was, he was, he really didn't pop off until he went to Seattle. Yeah. Yeah, touchdown wise. His first two years in the league were really good. But and then he, were, and then they like got, then Buffalo traded him in this fourth year. And then he had that insane year in 2013, 2014, and 2012, yeah. and 2011. Yeah. Yeah. But real quick, man, to finish the night, because that's all I've got for that. It was, I think that was a really good discussion. 
Um, yeah. The last thing that I have is we're going to do this real quick. We're going to do a running back tier list. Cool. So we will start. Um, Alvin, punch you in the face, Kamara. Where will we put this guy? Uh, he's elite. He's elite. He's 100% elite. He's elite. James Conner. Average. He is average, yes. Josh Jacobs. Elite. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, I'm going I'm to leave. Kind of Are we basing this off career or last I'm season? actually going Mixture off of both. last season. But... Okay, because I was going to say, yeah. if we're doing all time, I'm putting him in great. But if we're doing last okay, season. Well, yeah, la let's do last season. Let's do last let's season. Do la last, last season. Let's do last season. Let's do last season. Okay. Accurate. So um, Devin Singletary. Yeah, average. <clears throat> I mean, uh, average or trash. Yeah. He's not very good. Not good. That Ronald Jones. Ronald yeah. Jones is trash. Yeah, man, trash. He's garbage. Melvin Gordon was trash last year. Trash. Who's that? That is uh, Dalvin Cook's brother. Trash. Oh, trash. Uh, he did not have a good year. Mark Ingram. Trash. Trash. All right. Rashad Penny. Trash. Yeah. Jonathan Taylor. Great. Good. He was injured last year, so I I'll say good. Okay. Fair. We're just based off last season. Yeah, just last season. Uh, good. Who's that? Is that Stevenson or is that um? That that's White? Ramon. That's Ramondre Stevenson. That's my trying sure. to Ramondre Stevenson. Okay. Oh god. Don't be yawning. That's good. All right. So that's good. Good. They're really pretty good. Zeke. Average. Trash. Up to Aaron. Average or trash? <laughs> he's trash, dude. I, I he's so trash. Mm. He's so bad. Miles Booby. Good I'd say Booby was great last year. He was great last yeah, year. Great. Booby had a great season. DeAndre uh, Swift. DeAndre Swift. Uh, good. He's good. It's good. He's yeah. good. He's Tony good. Pollard. Good. Great. Good or great. Tony, Tony great. Pollard is he, great. Pollard had a good season. He's the borderline one elite. Guys. He's the one I'm really surprised didn't get paid out of them three. Oh, in all yeah. honesty. Even if they cut Zeke, I was like, okay, they're going to pay Tony. Joe Mixon. Green? Oh, Green. Joe Mixon? He's good. Oh, dang great. I'd say he's great. great. He I mean, he did. He, he had five touchdowns versus the Panthers, so I'd say great. <laughs> is that who yeah. I think it is? Yeah, Lenny Leonard Fournette. Fournette. Leonard Fournette, trash. Trash. Get trash. So Marlon sad. Mack incoming, trash. Marlon Mack, trash. trash. You know, Benjamin, trash. Trash. I didn't even know who that was. Okay. Uh, just based off his running, his his comeback, many men, I want to just say good. Good, yeah. Yeah. Is that who that is? Is that? Yes, that's... Um, I don't know if that's... Brian Robinson? That's, yes, Brian Robinson. Yes, it is. I don't know about that one. It doesn't look like Brian Robinson. I'm, I'm going to be real. Reason. I don't think that... If that's... Is that really Brian Robinson? He had like a, I don't I feel like that's look Brian it up, Robinson. Look it up. I'm Googling. I'm Googling. I'm Googling. Hey, that that ain't him. Who is it? I don't know, but that ain't him. Is that Antonio Gibson? No, wait, Gibson's the one beside Chris McCaffrey. Okay. Who's let me look. Oh, wait, let me see if it's Bryce Love. Is it Bryce Love? What's Bryce Love look like? I don't think it's Bryce Love. I don't know who that is. That's uh. not. So that's really uh, not. That's oh, really... oh, wait, no, no, no. That's um, Jets running back. Uh, Brees Hall. Yeah, Brees Hall. That's Brees Hall. Is that Brees uh, Hall? That's Brees Hall. That's his Ooh. Iowa State uniform. I thought it was Washington. That's why wow, I'm a racist. All right, where are we putting <laughs> this guy? <laughs> that was. <laughs> that is Brees Hall. Oh my god. Hey, you're going to cut all this out. We're going to start it all right. Brees I'm Hall. Not... Where are we putting Brees no, Hall? No, no, no. I'll just bleep it, dude. I'm not. I'm not bleep cutting dude. that out. Oh, You'd be alright. Uh, Brees Hall. That is so, um, so loud, man. I mean, Brees Hall, whenever he played, I mean, he to was To be fair, I really thought good. it was a Washington jersey, so I thought it was Robinson. Why Brees was Hall Robinson? was great when he played. He was great when he played. Let's but, put him in good, then. I'll put him in yeah, good. good. Just because of injury. Raheem Mostert? Um, Raheem Mostert, yeah. Raheem Mostert what? had that Raheem one Mostert. dominant season, but I want to put Dude. him in average right now. Yeah, he's, he's average. average. Yeah, he's average. Uh, trash. Uh, I mean, no, I mean, elite, elite, you're right. elite, a hundred percent elite. Oh, didn't you notice? 
I, I did. I, I saw I saw his little Aaron Jones <laughs> insult. Uh, Gibson's average. Yeah, yeah. I'm good with average here. Uh, Javante Williams again. One of those where it's like I think Javante honestly could be a great running back, but because of injuries, I thought I want to put him in good. We're gonna put, him, put him in good. good. Yeah. Put him in good. Eckler is is good. Just based off his comments recently, um, average. I think good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cam, Cam Akers, Akers is average to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cam Akers had like a great season uh, in like 2020, and then just Cam Akers off. had like one or two really decent seasons, and then it was just like never injuries, mind. Injuries. <laughs> he was like, never mind. <laughs> you know, you know what? I'm good now. You know that first Seattle guy we did? Yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that Penny or is that Chris Carson? Uh, that would be because I'm, pr- I'm sure he's sure Penny's that one. Son that's of Chris a gun. Carson. Chris Carson. Yeah, Chris. That's Chris Carson. Son of a gun, dude. They all look. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> you, <laughs> you should. You should. Wow. All right, David, David McGo- I gotta stop talking. David McGovern. It's it's average. Average or good. He's not good. Good. average. Elite. Elite. Stop yawning. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Wake this the up. It's killing me. <laughs> Elite. 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 Yeah, Elite. Yeah. AJ Dillon, I'd say AJ's good in all honesty. He's, like he's, as a backup, yeah, I think good. he is a Almost really good, good backup. Oh, quite he's dope. borderline great when they actually give him the ball. Yeah, who's this guy? Uh, that's that is a uh, Elijah Mitchell. He's pretty. He's yeah. He's actually pretty good. Really? Put him in average because because of, of injuries though. Yeah, Are we sure but do that when, when he's on the when that he's on the field for the 49ers, is. he's he's great. Yeah, I actually recognize his faces. We said average, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. J.K. Um, Dobbins. Okay, I'm being injured. Yeah, he also just doesn't play like as a running back very much in that system because they run guy? more. With Naheem more. Hines. Naheem Good Hines, God. yeah. He's um, he's more of a average. punt guy. Yeah, so average. He he really is a kick re- returner. I'm not gonna lie. Who's that's that? um? No, no, the, is trash, yeah, bro. Anderson. Yeah, he's, he's bad. There's James Robinson. James Robinson's trash. Also, he's now he's, trash. He's, yeah, he's trash now. Yes. Cordell Patterson is good. He's good. He's good. I give, I, I give him good just because of his kick return abilities. It's not really Rashad, a running back. Thing Rashad Penny. Trash. Trash. Clyde. Trash. 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 Derrick Henry. Elite. Elite. Hundred mm-hmm. percent elite. Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards. Trash. He's been kind of injured, trash. so I'm trash. 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 That one I actually don't know. Is that Kenneth Walker? That Probably is a good that, I would yeah. say so. Yeah, it's Kenneth Walker. Let's put him in good. But yeah, he's pretty good. Aaron Jones, I would say elite, yeah. elite. 100 percent I mean great. I I do you could do great for elite, but I'd be no, okay. He's, I mean, he's, he's, favorite, a, he's elite. He's Najee. Elite. You're being biased also. Good, good or great. Yeah, I do good. Dalvin is great. Great. Dalvin's elite, honestly, but I'm doing great. I don't, I don't understand. I think I think ETN's good. Good. ETN is very good. Alexander. Alexander Madison. Madison. I think didn't he have a pretty he's, good season? He's he's, he's he pretty good. good. He's he good. 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 He's good. He's good. Both Browns running backs were at the end for some reason, so I'm gonna go ahead and put him in elite. Yep. Yeah. And Kareem. I'd say Kareem Kareem's good last average. year. He was kinda average last year. Not not much else. Dang, that's a perfect list. That yeah. actually is um, a totally, good totally list. didn't mix I up. I do anybody. apologize for uh anybody that, was... that I <laughs> may have said the <laughs> name wrong. I don't. So Yep. Because some of these guys that I thought it was who they were and it's not them, so I do. I can't believe you'd assume who someone is based on their jersey. That was terrible. Yeah, I, to be fair, I thought that was Brian Robinson. I thought he was winning Washington. That's fair. I don't know why they put Brees Hall in his college uniform, but okay. It's probably an older list. But anyways, let us know in the comments who you would have put in any of the categories. Obviously, we will review them. And if we get a comment that we like, we will actually feature it in next week's video. If there is anything that you wanted us to talk about, or if you have any opinions on things that we talked about today, please remember to leave us a comment and uh, have a discussion about it in the comment section. We always like to talk to you guys and see what you're thinking. But 
as always, guys, my name has been Cody. This has been my friends and wonderful co-hosts, Aaron and CK. Uh, we will have a Panthers Corner episode coming out uh, relatively soon. Actually, probably tomorrow. Um, if you guys look forward to along with this video itself. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace!